entity indicate the total value of unclaimed assets and finances is 57 billion shillings. Now, our very own Clement Masombo is in Nyeri County to speak to the officials from the authority and now joins us to give us an update. Clement Masombo, good afternoon. What's the latest? Good afternoon to you, Jesse. Indeed, it's true that uh, the unclaimed financial assets authorities in Nyeri uh, this week on a sensitization campaign to the members of the public over their unclaimed assets. And just like you, uh, you said, uh, we have uh, learned from the CEO of the authority that uh, in terms of cash, we, they have a total of uh, 27 billion shillings and uh, 1.2 billion uh, share units uh, in the, uh, the authority. And they are appealing to Kenyans to uh, show up and uh, actually claim their their assets. And today in Nyeri County, uh, uh, members of public have uh, turned up in large numbers, of course, to initiate the process of uh, claiming for their assets and I want to engage some of the officials who are here to give us an overview of what uh, exactly is happening here and why it has been so difficult. Let's start with you CEO. Uh, why has it been so difficult for Kenyans to claim for their assets uh, from the authority? Uh, thank you very much and uh, good afternoon people of Nyeri. We are grateful to be here today as Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority. Uh, it has been difficult for people to claim their unclaimed financial assets because of lack of awareness. Kenyans do not know that they have unclaimed financial assets and even who is unclaimed financial assets authority and what our mandate is. And based on that, we have uh, chosen to partner with other government agencies and uh, specifically we are working with the national government administration officers to be able to sensitize as many Kenyans as possible across the whole country. Today we are here in Nyeri uh, last week we were in Nakuru and we'll be going across the country to sensitize people on what we do. Next week we'll be in Thika and uh, we are asking Kenyans first to appreciate who we are. We are a government agency mandated to receive, safeguard and unite and claim financial assets for social economic prosperity. So we are happy to be here today telling people of Nyeri, please check if you have any unclaimed assets and everybody in Kenya and you can check this by diaring uh, uh, star 361 hash wherever you are on your mobile number star 361 hash and you'll be prompted to give some additional information and with that you'll be able to check if you have any unclaimed assets the other way you can do is go to our website uh, UFAA's website and you can tell if you have unclaimed assets so today we are here and we are happy with the county commissioner of Nyeri and all leadership of Nyeri and also with Huduma Centre uh, because again as an authority we are so lean we are very few, only 32 staff of us, and that's why we want to partner with other government agencies uh, through Huduma Centers and through Huduma Machinani. You can be able to get our services there, check if you have unclaimed assets, and be reunited. All right, thank you so much. Before I come to UDCC, let me engage the, uh, the representative from uh, Huduma Center, actually the CEO of uh, Huduma Center, Kenya. You are a one-stop, uh, if I could call it one-stop shop for all the services in Kenya. How are you coming in uh, handy, uh, handy to support the financial uh, the unclaimed financial assets authority in Kenya in terms of reaching out to Kenyans? Uh, thank you. My name is Ben Kai Chilumo, the CEO of Huduma Kenya. Uh, at the moment, Ufa are present in five of our Huduma centers in Nairobi. And because we are all over the country, 47 counties, it is an opportunity for UFA to leverage on the platform of Huduma Kenya one-stop shop to reach as many Kenyans as possible. That's a uh, big not enough. We have now come up with another channel of service delivery called Huduma Machinani, where we are taking Huduma right to the doorstep of Kenyans. And this is the reason why UFA now is partnering with us so that we are able to reach Kenyans to be able to, you, to be united with their finances that they otherwise would have been lost. But now as we speak, Kenyans are now getting to know that they have money with UFA. I am a living example of one of those people while in Nakuru on a Huduma Mashinani outreach in collaboration with UFA, where I managed to find my money, which I had otherwise forgotten. I just gave my ID to an officer of UFA, and he checked, and immediately I realized that I had my dividends from EverReady, Kenya, which I had actually forgotten about. So it, it is possible, and Kenyans should come for their money 